two ways of approaching that reality. The first, what does science tell us about unity and collaboration? You know, are there practical examples in the world around us that show this is not only possible but necessary? And then what does the, might say, the spiritual realm, the spiritual realm tell us also about working with those issues of, of unity and collaboration? And when we look at it from a scientific perspective, uh, really, it's one of the most fundamental concepts in life. You know, life depends on unity and collaboration. There'll be no living things on this planet if there was not unity and collaboration within the organism, you know, between the organisms. So when you talk about Darwinian survival of the fittest, you know, the, this economic idea we have to compete and the strongest are going to win out in the market and so on and so forth, this is only one small part of the rules that, that operate any ecological system. Cooperation and reciprocity are essential properties which are inherent in the unified system of the world of existence. And Michael Novak at Harvard has done a lot, 20 years of research, wonderful book on super cooperators, which he showed that cooperation rather than competition is the best foundation for social and economic progress. We need to change our mindset and change the way we think about many of the assumptions about our business and economic system as it is working today. Well, the reality, the new science, is the science of complex systems, always evolving, never in equilibrium, always innovating. And the importance of participation, all the relevant actors need to be involved. And a long-term vision. You know, the, the damage that is done from such short, short, short-term thinking uh, means that you're, 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 you're maximizing the wrong things at the wrong scale. It's not enough to change the systems if you don't change the people in them. So we obviously, how do we transform the people in the system? And of course, there you're looking at ethics, spiritual education, development of human potential, accompaniment, humble learning, all the principles that EBVF stands for are the principles that we need to transform the people within these structures to make them work in a more effective direction towards unity and collaboration. And of course, since we're in a globalized world, obviously the oneness of humanity you know, is a fundamental principle at the highest level of systems organization. The pathway to sustainability will be one of empowerment, collaboration, and continual processes of questioning, learning, and action in all regions of the world.